Welcome to this tutorial on how to read a data file in Python using pandas. Okay, so we have a data file over here called data.csv and another file called data.xls. Okay, one is a comma separated value file and the other one is an Excel file. And we look at how to read both of them. Okay, so if I open this file, it contains the same data as the other file, it's just a different file format. And this is a common format you might find in other systems as well. Okay, so you have X and Y as the headers, and then you have the values over here. Okay, it's called comma separated values because if you open it in a text editor, for example, let's open it here in, uh, in Spider, you see that there's a comma separating the values. Okay, so in pa in Jupyter, if you would like, or in Spider, if you like to read it, you need to make sure you're in the same directory. So the easiest way is copy the location of the file, so copy, and then paste it over here, okay, and press enter. This is called the current working directory of uh, Spider, so it should be, when you refer to the file called data.csv, it will know to fetch this file, okay, and let's create a blank uh, script and save it in the same location, so paste here, and we'll call this how we Okay, first thing is import pandas, so import pandas as td, and then to read the file, you just say pd dot read, okay, underscore csv, and then give it the file name, okay, the file name is data.csv, okay, let's run this and see what happens, so we run this line by line by selecting the command that you would like to run, right click on it, and then say run selection, okay. And you can see in the console window over here, we ran the ran the command and it has imported the data file over here. Okay, and you can see it gives you the column names and it also gives you the row number. Okay, and then you have all the data inside. it. Now pandas allows you to uh, access these values. Right now you can see that they were they are just shown as outputs. Okay, they are not actually stored in memory. So if I go here to variable explorer you can see that there is no variables uh, here. Okay, so when you read the file, you need to store it inside a variable. So let's call the variable data. And then let me run this command again. Okay, this time I now have a variable that I can manipulate. Okay, so I have data here. So if I type in data in the console, I'll see data is exactly what we saw earlier. Okay, now pandas allows you to access separate columns for example, if I want the X column, I just have to say data and then X, okay, it just gives me the X values, okay. If I want to store this in a different variable called X, I can do so by saying X equal to data, okay. So now I have a new variable called X, which is a series, and it has all the values inside from the column X, okay. If I would like to get the fifth number here, fifth row, I would have to say x of 5, and it, it would give me the fifth number, okay? Okay, so if you go if you go back to the data frame uh, called data, and I would like to access the fifth row in here, it's slightly different, you cannot just do data 5, it will throw an error saying there's no column called 5, okay? So in order to access the fifth column, uh, fifth row, you have to say data and you have to use the i location, the index location function and give it the number 5. Okay, In that case, it will give you the, uh, the row which contains x value and the y value. Okay, And if you would like to access the x value from this, from the fifth row, you would have to say data dot i location 5 and then another square bracket for the column name and just say x. That will give you the x value in the fifth row. Okay. So this is how you read a, a data file. You can also read the Excel file. So we can say data Excel pd dot read Excel and data dot xlsx. Okay. And if I run the selection, I'll get the same data, data underscore XL. Okay, it's the same data. So 
regardless of the file type, you should be able to read it. Uh, Excel uh, CSV is a bit more common format. Uh, it takes less memory than XLS, and it you can edit it in Notepad and stuff.